Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. It is the 15th of April and it is your boarding call for Broomstick Airways. It is time to depart Peru and head to our next destination. So I hope you've had a lot of fun in Peru. I am a little concerned that some of you've got lost and hopefully not kidnapped because there were only six photos posted so far to date on your explorations of Peru. I hope it's just that you've got caught up in the culture and we'll post your pictures later. For me, I did the vacunas, I think they're called, the, like the alpaca. I did the colours of those, these two colours here. On Trev, the travelling snake, the most expensive wool I've heard of. And then for Trixie, well, the weather in Peru is beautiful. It's warming up and something I'm used to in the tropics. So I did some tropical greens and golds for the warmer weather. So Trixie, who yet is to be stuffed quite a bit. <laughs> so guys, where would we go after Peru? Well, we're in South America. So why not let's go to Brazil? What an exciting country, lots going on, lots of colour, lots of agriculture, lots of tourist sites to visit and lots of things to do. So I'll tell you my research about Brazil and then you can check it out for yourself. Brazil, officially the Federative Republic of Brazil is the largest country in South America and in Latin America at 18.5 million square kilometres and with a, with a population or over of 217 million people. Brazil is the world's fifth largest country by area and the seventh most populous. A lot of people there. The official language is Portuguese and the capital is Brasilia. Not Rio, like people think. It's Brasilia. Now, the national animal is an unofficial animal. Um, most Brazilians consider the jaguar their national animal and it is often called the Brazilian panther. Now there'll be photos of animals, flowers, things at the end for you to check out so make sure you do. The national bird is the rufous thrush found in woodlands and thickets and usually in areas where there are palms. Its song is very real mix of whistles and scratchy notes. The national flower of Brazil is the Catalia orchid, also known as the Crimson Catalia or the Ruby Lipped Catalia. It's beautiful. The national dish is a fajoa. The Brazilian fajoa considers considered to be a stew of beef and pork with beans. Brazilians use black beans. I've never had it, but maybe I should try cooking it. Brazil has had a remarkable transformation from being an exporter of tropical agricultural products such as coffee, sugar, cacao in the 60s and 70s. It became a global supplier of soya beans, soybean products, corn, cotton, sugar, coffee, orange juice, meat and ethanol since the 21st century. They have really diversified their agriculture and really grown as a country considering there is a lot of poverty in the country. Now, some attractions for you to visit. Now, most media programs when showing Brazil show Christ the Redeemer, an Art Deco statue of Jesus overlooking Brazil, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Sugarloaf Mountain is a peak situated in Rio at the mouth of the Guanabara Bay on the peninsula that juts out into the Atlantic Ocean, rising 396 metres above the uh, harbour. The peak is named for its resemblance to the traditional shape of concentrated refined sugar, loaf of sugar. That's how it used to be sold many, many, many years ago. Now, some of the falls, I may not get the names right, but you can Google and check them out. In Guza Falls, are waterfalls of, of the Inguza River on the border of Argentina and Brazil's state of Paraná. Together they make up the largest waterfall system in the world. The falls divide the river into upper and lower Inguza. 
Now, you can explore any city you like. You can go to Rio, Sao Paulo, you can visit the capital, Brazil, Salvador, or just sit chilling at the beach having cocktails. Just remember when you post your pictures, let me know what inspired you. The couple that have been inspired for Peru were amazing, um, beautiful colours. So yes, remember to post your pictures on the Facebook page or on Instagram with the hashtag YarnVacationAU. And if you don't do social media, remember you can post, um, email them to me and give me permission to post them on the Facebook group page, which is private. You don't have to, you just send them to me and I'll know you've participated. Because don't forget, there's a participant prize draw at the end of the month for a $25 gift voucher. So I hope you're all aboard Broomstick Airways. You haven't got lost or sidetracked in Peru and hopefully not kidnapped. So guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, enjoy your yarn vacation and make sure you have a crafty day in Brazil. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.